Welcome to Celebrity Hour TV. Today we have multi award winning U.S. based Cameroonian artist Nyangi. He's going to be in the hot today with questions that you would not want to miss. Come with me. Hey. How are you doing? Welcome to Celebrity Hour. Oh, thank you so very much. It is much. an honor to have you here. Oh, same here. I heard a lot about you. Uh, and you I, do? And I love what you do, so, you know, it's really great thank to be here. They love what we do. Shout out to Celebrity Hour. I'm pretty sure they're waiting to hear because um, they've been expecting you. So tell us, let's start. How would you describe a perfect day? Uh, a perfect day to me is a beautiful day, you mm -hmm. know? Yeah, with all these ramifications, you know? All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, come on, let's get in. If you wanna know more, come with me. Oh, please. <laughs> Let me go. Shine, shine. Like Lady Diner. Everything I need in my life, baby, you got. Oh, baby, for your man. You see me doing that. I'm proud of you. Baby, with you, I believe I can make you look like. Welcome back to Celebrity Hour TV. We still have Yangi, but this time around in the studio. Welcome to our studio, Yangi. Uh, thank you, Barbara. You're so kind. It is my honor. Tell us, what do you miss the most about home? Everything. You know, um, home is home, as they always say. And that is my culture. I miss family a lot. And I wish they were here. What is your best color? White. How often do you go on vacation? Uh, occasionally, you know, um, sometimes, you know, when need be. Uh -huh. When was the last vacation? Uh, a couple of months ago. That was in Yaoundé, Cameroon. When last did you try something crazy and weird? Something crazy and weird. That was about six months ago. Do you speak your dialect? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. My name is, my artist name is Yangi. By Yangi. I speak by Yangi, frankly. How do they say I love Celebrity Hour TV so much in your dialect? <laughs> in my dialect? By Yangi? Okay. Nkong Celebrity TV. Don't. Ah. Nkong Celebrity Hour. Don't. Okay. Mm. African dishes or Western dishes? African dishes, any day. Eru or Achu? Oh, that's a toughie. I love both, but I'll go for Eru any day. Hey, no disrespect for Achu. What's that special thing about you you would want the world to know about you? I love people. You know, I invested most of my life um, after I finished medical school and, you know, caring for a suffering humanity all over the world. So I love people. I want people to know, remember me for that. What makes you more fulfilled, medical practitioner or an entertainer? Medical practice makes me more fulfilled. Which takes much more of your time, medical field or entertainment? Medical field takes most of my time. Yeah. Can you choose one over the other? I would choose the medical field over entertainment any day. I love, I love being an artist. It's a gift which I use. Um, yeah, that's important to me. How have you given back to your community or how do you plan on giving back to your community? I've already given a lot to a suffering humanity. You know, um, I've uh, facilitated and organized medical outreaches to Haiti, to Cote d'Ivoire, to Mozambique, to Nigeria, um, worked with the orphans in Manfi in Cameroon. So my first five years in the United States when I was in New York City was you know, to reach out to the rest of the world. So I played my part. If you were to do a song on the political upheaval in Cameroon at the moment, what would be its perfect title? Um, keep the French out of French speaking countries in, Cam in Africa. I'm not going to focus on Cameroon because it's a small picture. I believe that we need to kick the Francophonie, that's France, out of our face in Africa. It will help me. What's the last song you listened to? Um, the last song I listened to was you know, Usher's music. Do you agree that African music is the future? Yes, I do believe African music will be the future. Yeah. What is your top goal as an entertainer? 
My top goal is to reach out, is to build a platform that's going to reach out to people through good music. We will take a break and we'll be right back. Mm -hmm. Are you currently working on something new? Yeah, I'm working on a lot of projects right now. Yeah. What's been the turning point in your career as an entertainer? Uh, when I walk, when I was pushed literally into a recording studio and I did Wedding Day Jennifer, that was my first song and I shot the first music video. It was good. A movie night or a football, ni a football night now? Movie night any day. Do you play any sport? Yes, many. Would you choose? A sport over your current careers for fifty million dollars. My career as a physician is my calling. I won't choose anything above my above my, my calling and my career. Who did you grow up looking at to? My dad. What is your secret to remaining healthy? Eating healthy. I guess some fruits and vegetables, if combined and taken at once, become something to the body. Is that true? That's strange because fruits and vegetables make people healthy. I will go more for food which are not healthy. Describe your personality in three words. Um, caring. Two more. Affectionate. One mm -hmm. more. Humorous. <laughs> Who knows you best? My family knows me best. How would a person describe you in three words? High achiever. Humble. Consider it. What's the first thing you do every morning? I pray. Your favorite female slash male artist from Cameroon? Daphne. Male? Rabarabi. Best motivational speaker? Griffin Dollar. What is that thing you love doing but find difficulty in doing it? I like to go climb Mount Everest, but I know I can never do it because I have the skills. But it's always good to get to the top of any mountain. The most difficult time in your life as a doctor or entertainer? Uh, it was when a young girl died while I was in medical school in my fourth year. Um, um, she had come out of and I couldn't cope with it for a long time. I still remember that time. It was tough for me. Mm -hmm. If you were to leave Cameroon for 10 days, what would you change first? I would kick the Francophonie, the French, out of our constitution and out of our, our affairs. How do you want your retirement to look like? Cool. You know, I would like to return and go back to my village and live in my village and because that's where the peace and harmony is. Get away from all the cities and all the noise. We'll take a break and we'll be right back. The feeling is real. I'm trying to let you know it's real. Maybe the first time I met you I was moving and feeling the heat all around me Connection from within 
My petitions were are coming to me Baby you know Baby you know This thing I feel so nothing talk I'm Baby you know Baby you know Baby God you look good Baby you know Baby you know Baby you know Baby you know hey, This thing I feel so The feeling is real The feeling is real We try to let you know How do you fight fear? I fight fear by having faith. Has there ever been a moment in your life you felt like it was coming to an end? I've been anxious about a few things but never thought that far. Any new project coming up? Yeah, God of Father is dropping next year. That's my first EP. Christian or Muslim? Christian. What makes you more proud of being African? We have a rich culture. What's the funniest thing you've ever done in the dark? Mm. Cry. Who would you call your role model in the entertainment industry? Will Smith. How about Cameroon industry? I'm here to find a few. Have you ever lied to someone? Yes, I have. Your greatest accomplishment in life so far? It's to reach out to a suffering human and do free medical care. One word for your fans or those looking up to you. More to come. We'll take a break and we'll be right back. Welcome back to Celebrity Hour. Let's find out how he's feeling right now because I'm sure he is. Mm. <laughs> that was pretty hard and I really liked it. So how was it? You <laughs> liked it? Was, it? It, was, it was cool, okay. you know? That means yeah. we're going to have you back some other time with some more difficult questions. Of course, questions. it was a pleasure. It was, it was a pleasure, Barbara, you know. <laughs> but so some of those questions, though, you sounded like you had to think, but I didn't give you enough time. Obviously. And I warned you about that. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. And some came like... I felt like I didn't get like the real answer. What's up with that? Yeah, obviously, you know, you have to think through sometimes, but you're not giving the time to think. But that was okay. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. We have finally come to the end of the entire thing, where we had Yangi, the CEO of Yangi Nation Record Label. And thank you for watching Celebrity Hour. You are Celebrity Hour TV.